Journal tab on the sidebar handles two types of record keeping. The first is Character Journals. These are essentially a list of PCs and MPCs. As you can see, I got my four PC entries ready and waiting for their players to eventually join my campaign. I also have NPC entries for notable characters that the PCs will run into, as well as one for the generic bandit enemy. By default, a campaign doesn't have an assigned RPG system character sheet loaded in, so when I open a character journal, I only initially have access to the Bio and Info tab and the Attributes and Abilities tab. If you're working from a physical paper character sheet, or using an outside app like Google Drive, Mythweavers, or Hero Lab, then these two tabs could satisfy all you'll ever need. For convenience sake, you can also drop links to your outside app sheets or even paste the stat blocks directly into the Bio tab text box. The Bio tab is also where one stores their character's portrait image and eventually where we'll be storing the character tokens. There's also a field for GMs to add their own content or notes that will be kept hidden from the eyes of the players. Upon creation, only the GM will be able to view the journal entries. In order for players to see or edit a journal, we'll need to add them to the permissions. Since none of my players have joined the campaign yet, I'm going to set the PC journals to be visible by all players and add edit permissions later on after everyone has joined the campaign. The Attributes and Abilities tab is something I'll come back to later. Just keep in mind that this is where you can set up dice rolling macros as well as set attribute values. Now let's say you'd much rather have an entire character sheet included. System character sheets are a community-driven project designed by mentor subscribers and made available to all Roll20 users. When you're on your campaign details page, any account type will be able to select from a list of available sheets from different RPG systems. Once added, a third tab will appear on a character journal displaying the custom-designed character sheet template. While this completely depends on how the character sheet was designed, many of these have the ability to roll directly from the character sheet without having to write your own rolling macros. The other record-keeping element available on the journal tab are handouts. These can be used to display an image or text. If players are given permission to view or edit the handout, they'll be able to open it at any point in time. This is handy for keeping track of house rules, campaign notes, maps, loot inventory, and in my situation, providing a place to store my ransom note. I created this image previously in some photo editing software. I'm going to drag it from my file folder and into the handout. Not only does Roll20 upload the image to my art library when I do this, but it also adds it to this handout. When the PCs eventually locate the note during gameplay, I'll set the permissions to all players. I'll also force the image to appear on everyone's screen by clicking on the Show to Players button. And that's the Journal tab in a nutshell. Next, we'll talk about creating tabletop tokens for all of our heroes and villains.